My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Mimo French Leather. This was highly recommended. The bottle on the Harvey Nichols site in this bottle is different. I wonder what that is. Eau de Parfum, 225 pounds for 50 mil. What's it got in it for that? But on All Beauty, it's 143. 475 mil. Mimo Paris is a modern fragrance brand created in 2007 and devoted to expressing the height of luxury from around the world. Believing that a fragrance is a journey, Mimo Paris have made their fragrance to transport the senses along with a trail of enchanting locations and vivid materials. Sensual and luxurious. A fragrance of refined suede that captures the culture and sophistication of France. The richness of suede combines with fresh rose and lime, accentuated with a mixture of pink pepper, clary sage, cedar, juniper, musk, and vetiver. Clary sage, I'm here to use. I nearly used it for something. It smells to me really, really clean, sharp, herbaceous. I really liked it, and I imagine with lemon. Elmley, pink pepper, all of that, it would be gorgeous. Chanel have used it, which I quite like. So I'm thinking about using it for something. Clary Sage Smell has a tea-like note to it. I remember rightly, but I was working with it six months to a year ago. Do we have a bottle of Mimo French Leather? I we engage with a high self. Let's get testing. So I got this ages ago. Last November, I went on holiday with my friend who I've known for eight years and years and years, above a decade now, which is really, really scary. I think it's getting on 15, 20 years, which is really, really scary. My friend called uh, Schnooze, Schnooze or Poodle. I've known him for a long, long time. Yes, we've had in the, through the years, we just got clubbing and absolutely debaucherous and really, really fun. We went to Grand Canaria, first holiday I've had uh, post COVID, Manchester airport in the duty free. And he was trying all these fragrances. He loved this one. So, and it's been sat there. I bought a bottle as well. It's been sat there for November. And then I'm reorganizing my factory at the moment. We're sort of restructuring everything. I found this, so I thought, ah, I'm gonna review it. Anyway, enough of the babbling onto French leather by Mimo. Suede, I immediately go to suede old. Suede old smells of suede. But there's loads of ways to make suede. Iron owns, seed old, Bit of vanilla to make it fluffy, cinema alcohol, cinema cinema. That's you can you can assimilate a suede accord within that. Backed against ice sweet super. That's immediately where I go. Maybe with invertebrate patchouli, sandalwood, pink pepper. That's what I would think immediately with that. But I would try and make it easy to start off with with suede oil because it's kind of easy. This does not contain suede oil. Seed oil, which is giving that harsh leathery feel. Seed oil can be used in lots of things to give a leather feel without it being leather. It's more palatable than all the leather notes. Some of the leather notes are really harsh, quite difficult to work with. Sulfurine, mm -hmm. the one I can never remember. Seb Q Quinlone, I think that's what it is. That's really hard to work with. You have to be careful with the dosing of it. But they're also leather notes put in different ways. Hedio and Isu Super. The harshness is tetralade. In formulation, it's going to smell either clean washing or it can smell harsh when it's combined with other raw materials. And that is the harshness with this. This is sort of utilizing floral notes to smell harsh. Phenol ether alcohol, citronella on its own can smell harsh and metallic. And that has been utilized within this, but you wouldn't classify this as floral. But the amazing skill of perfumers know that citronella phenol ether alcohol and broxin all that kind of stuff it smells harsh metallic and you really would want that with the seed oil you have to soften this sort of formulation because seed oil can smell harsh unpalatable not particularly good so you would either soften it with a lily of the valley raw material one of the soft sound would like raw materials sandal or bangalore but they're using lily of the valley raw materials to go with the floral notes to smooth out the core. I kind of love this. You absolutely would put cedarwood in this. Lots of different types of cedarwood. Chinese cedarwood, cedarwood teclas, cedarwood atlas. Interestingly, cedarwood atlas works on the top. So cedarwood, lang lang. The, again, I'm going to say it again, the choice of musk is key to this. Without the right choice of musk, this formulation would fall apart and wouldn't work. So they're using robust musks a beautiful symphony of musk to work at the backbone, the top and the base. Clean white musk is the core of it. Ethan bracelet or galaxalide. 
a must to work at the bloom, the must to work at the core, to help make it more friendly. So must can make things smell animalistic or friendly. And friendly is like this. This smells like a, a beautiful friendly, it doesn't smell frightening. It smells gorgeous. On to my final thoughts. It is the first time I have tested this range and I'm going to be testing more of it because I like it. Modern, up-to-date perfumery, safe, legal, compliant with the box being all professional, which I love and I really appreciate. The price, £200 for 75 mil. I have to work it out in 50 mils was minus old in 50 mils. 142 for 50 mil. I think it's a little bit top end if I'm kind of going to be very honest with you, but it's a luxury brand. It smells luxurious. It smells expensive. But I do kind of struggle with that sort of price, you know, it is top end. Projection is not particularly intense on my skin. Longevity is super, super long lasting. I kind of would love to see more of the ambery wood like raw materials within this. I'd love to see Norlimbanol, Javanol within this. I'd love to see Kashmir and in this. That's kind of, I'd love to see more ambers in with this to really give it good radiance. So in that aspect, I'm going to mark it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a great formulation. I think it's super professional, super likable. You know, it's a nice formulation, but for me, I feel there's bits that could be extend that projection, but I kind of love it, but it's kind of not for me at the same time. I wouldn't reach for it. So I'll be beating Poodle around the head with one of these and I'll be giving him something better. He has all my work, actually. He doesn't like it when I release something new because I send it to him and he gets really annoyed because he doesn't like lots and lots of bottles. And I'm like, you're getting free fragrance. You want to shut up? Anyway, so I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe more fascinating interesting content, lots of moving hands, lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.